Hello, and welcome to our lesson on the order of operations. So we use the order of operations to break down a calculation. And the way we break them down is we begin with any brackets, and then any other operation, including indices and the trigonometric functions, and then division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. So if you look at question A, we have five add one, multiplied by 3 and because the multiplication comes before the addition we do the 1 times 3 first so we have 5 add 1 times 3 which is 3 and 5 add 3 is 8. For question B we do the multiplication which is before the subtraction so we have 11 take away 2 times 5 which is 10 and 11 take away 10 is 1. Question C, we do the division before the addition. So we have 18 plus 15 divided by 3, which is 5. And 18 plus 5 is 23. Okay, with question C, if we apply the order of operations to 6 times 3 add 8, we will do the multiplication bit first, which is 18. And we add 8 to get 26. But we need 66. So we're going to insert a pair of brackets into our calculation. And the brackets will tell us which bit to do first. If we put our brackets before the 3 and after the 8, we have 6 multiplied by 3 add 8, which we do first, and that is 11. 6 multiplied by 11 is 66. So our brackets go here and here. Do you want to take a moment to try and think where the brackets would go in question A. You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, so we have 20 divided by 5, which means you put the brackets before the 2 and after the 3. Okay, let's try some more questions. Okay, do you want to insert brackets into the following calculations to make them correct? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So for question F, we have the bracket before the 2 and after the 6. We can check this. We have 5 times 2 add 6, which is 8, and that does make 40. For question G, we have a bracket before the 4 and after the 2. And 18 divided by the 4 add 2, which is 6, does make 3. For question H, the bracket is before the 3 and after the 2. And 25 divided by the 3 add 2, which is 5, does make 5. And finally, for question i, we have the bracket before the 13 and after the 5. And again, before the 13 and after the negative 1. We can check this. 13 take away 5 is 8, multiplied by 13 take away 1, which is 12. And 8 times 12 does make 96. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.